Welcome to Smart Sheet Engage here in Seattle, Washington, where I have taken a hostage. His name is Cicero, and he's Director of Product Marketing. How are you doing? I am doing amazing. First, I want to appreciate the fact that being near you, I will likely not get hit by any cars <laughs> while I'm here at the, at the event. Yep. So tell me about Engage and what, you know, why, why do you do this Engage event at Smartsheet? What's the purpose? You know, the, the exciting part about Engage is that all these people are users of Smartsheet. And, and their main goal is to come out with even so much as a nugget of something that's going to change their life change the way they do things, change. And, and I've had people that go away with just learning a formula and they say, this will change everything I do. And that's what this is about, is every session we do is designed to say, what are they gonna walk out doing? What are they gonna, how is this gonna change their life? And, and that's, that's why we do this. Because each of these people is, is changing the world in their own way. And, and we want to expand those ripples worldwide. And th this is how we do it. What do you think the ratio of sizzle to meat is at Engage in terms of the difference between we're gonna tell you about all this cool stuff versus we're gonna teach you about stuff for an Engage conference, for, for people thinking about You know, if, if we take in everything from keynote on, I would say probably about 20 to 25% sizzle. Okay because they sizzle just with learning Smartsheet. Yeah. And, and, but the rest of it, they don't, they don't sit in those seats to be told how wonderful Smartsheet is because they know. They sit in those seats to say, how can I do more? And, and so we want that to happen. And, and that's why we design all of the sessions that way so that we do have that 20 to 80 ratio. Yeah, I'm a veteran of many, many, many keynotes. And I have to tell you, First of all, I was surprised, honestly, by how many people were there. Uh, Huge room. And then I thought it was awesome how efficient the whole keynote experience was in a uh, good way. It wasn't two and a half hours of, yep. we're going to talk at you with all of our marketing messaging. It was, mm -hmm. here's cool stuff we're doing. All right, let's go off to, to learn. learn and yep. to learning sessions. So, but on the announcement side of things, what are, the, what are some of the things that you if, if you were to interview people on the street leaving the convention center mm -hmm. and you were to ask them, what did you learn about that was new and announced? Mm -hmm. What would you want them to say? What are those important things? So I think the, the big ones that were coming out in the keynote and in some of the sessions are our collections, uh, a way to bring information to the people who need it and not too much, not too little, but just right. Um, the uh, new views. New views are going to change everything by making things faster, quicker, more intuitive. And, and I think those two combined are just going to change people's lives. And, and I know just on the escalator listening to them, uh, they were all just, I can't wait till this comes out. And, and I think both of those are just going to explode for people. I mean, your users are tend to be more passionate than the average customer of an enterprise software company, <laughs> in, at least in my assessment, yes. because these are people who are using the tools to make themselves personally more productive in their jobs yes. and their teams. It's one thing if you're an IT administrator administrating some infrastructure software. Mm -hmm. It's another thing where, when, you know, to, to your point, you have a new view or a new capability to organize things that's going to make your day better. You know, it, they, they I, take it personally, don't oh, they? Oh, absolutely. It's totally personally. And uh, I was in a, a, one of our engages, I was talking to a customer and another customer came up to me and they said, Cicero, I'm, I'm struggling because this is saving me so much time. How, do, what do I tell my boss? Because they go, well, all right, what do you do with all this time you're saving? And the customer that I had standing next to me said, I'm actually doing my job. And I'm able to think about how to do my job better. Where these people can't, they're struggling to just get things done. And now because we're saving time with different things, whether it's a formula or a sheet or a dashboard, now they can use that time to actually do their jobs better. And that's so exciting. Yeah, yeah. Now the, the correct answer of course to that question is pickleball. 
take up pickleball. There you Use go. the extra time you save I like that. to start playing pickleball, and you'll have a more and, fulfilled, wonderful and life. Exactly. Shout out to my pickleballers I back like home. that. I like that. So what are some other things uh, that are coming down the line that have been announced that you are particularly excited about? Of course, oh. AI is in the air oh, yeah. with you know, everything. I, I think uh, AI, especially in the areas of answering questions in formula writing, because with Smartsheet, it's so powerful, the formulas you can do, but that's something that people hear formula and it's like a flashback to algebra. And, like, <gasps> and they freeze. And, and any way that we can help them make those formulas that change things, and the AI is going to do it. Give me an, uh, can you give me an example of a formula, though, like, and, and what, what that would look like? Sure. I mean, the first thing I think of is, is you know, classic spreadsheet. Oh, sure. I want you to add up everything in this column and give me the result in this cell. So, as you know, a, it actually can be even easier than that, but, but harder than that. Let's say that you are tracking status and your status is based on, say, percent complete and maybe something else. Well, in a, in a formula, you would use what's called an if statement. Well, if statement formulas are hard. And, and that's one of the things that people actually, it's almost, it is one of the most used formulas in Smartsheet, but people struggle with it. Because if you do it just different, it doesn't work. And, and with the AI, you just say, I want to do this if this happens, and now it gives you that. And so all that struggle now became something productive. And, and that's where the AI is really going to help. And then taking it next to say, I want to see this information from this sheet. How do I do it? And, and having that help is like having me sit on their shoulder and helping them with a formula. Do you think the average customer will take the position that they would rather have you give them a fish instead of teach them how to fish in that regard. I can imagine a scenario where I might be curious to know how to create a formula that I used to struggle with, and I would want AI to be there as an assistant to help show me how to do it. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I can imagine getting to a point where I trust that enough yep. to say, no, 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 just do it for me. Sure. I don't care how you do it, just get it done. You know, where, where, do, where, do, you, where do, you, do you think people are ready to, to hand over control you know, to trust I, these I things? I don't think they're necessarily ready, nor should they. Because we always, it, when we're teaching everybody, we're teaching them how it happens, what's going on. And so the AI is a, is a super helper, but you always have to understand what the helper's doing. And so having that base understanding of those formulas still reinforces that because it, it, all, it, it validates what they're doing, it helps them do it, but they're always able to troubleshoot to say, am I getting really the number that I want? And, and so I think it's that kind of thing. And so these, these people out here want it, their hands in it anyways. And so now they've got the AI hands wrapped around theirs to help them. And that's, that's what we want. Okay, so you're at a party and somebody says, what do you do? And you say, oh, I've, have you ever heard of smart sheet before? It's like, well, I know I've heard of smart and I've heard of sheet before, but no, <laughs> tell me more. And you tell them a little about smart sheet and shockingly, they're absolutely enthralled, even sure. though they're not in the business of any of this. What are the things that you point out to them that are your favorite features or that are particularly exciting? Sure. About, about Smartsheet in particular and how it helps for well, it Well, first I'd have to decide what, what they're doing because I'd pick the, the features that would. But I think overall, if I looked at Smartsheet, I would say it's the automations. And because the automations take a flat sheet and they make it a living process because you only talk and work with that sheet when it tells you it needs you or it goes out and gets information from somebody else when it's needed, you don't have to. And, and so taking automations takes that to the whole next level. And, and when I, there's a, a session that I give that um, I show them this whole intake. And in the whole session, I say, not once did I tell you, you had to go to the sheet because it, told you when it needed it. It asked for what it needed. It told people they had things. It 
if you do this right, it's a living process. And that's the, the automations do that. Give us, give us more on, on that session that you're, 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 sure. you're talking about. So you know, what's, the, what's the sort of elevator pitch on what you show in that session? So uh, that session uh, I call the uh, inter intake to archive. And I've done it for a number of years because the power of Smartsheet also means that when people get in, like you said, they see a sheet. Well, they don't see the possibility. And, and it's very similar to like, you tell people, oh, Smartsheet's so easy. But then you say, go do something. Well, they go, I don't know where to start. And it's like saying, here's a bunch of bricks, build me a castle. You go, well, I don't know where to go. But what I do is I say, all right, we have an intake solution. Now let's walk that solution. And how does information come in? Now who has to hear about it? And, and so part of that is helping people see what they're trying to solve. Because then they can build that solution and their castle the way they want it. So it sounds like AI is going to make, is going to basically amp up all of that yep. that you're talking about, um, which is something that I think it's hard for all of us to completely appreciate how much that's going to change the nature of work moving forward. But back, back to engage as an event. Mm -hmm. I think there were 4,000 people in the, in the keynote. So thousands of people have come from all over the place to come here. A lot of passionate actual users of the software. What do you think they're largely looking for moving forward? If you had to characterize what the voice of the customer is mm -hmm. in 2024 going into 2025 from a smart sheet perspective, I what are you hearing? I, I, what, well, all of these people are trying to do their job better they're trying to do it faster so they can do more because many of these companies that are out here, they're, they're being told, I need to do more with less. Well, that's what Smartsheet helps with because it now can drive that so that they're not overstressed and they have that time to have a life because it, it takes that away. And that's really, you know, with the AI, with the new way sheets are going to be, with collaboration and the collections, those are ways that we're, we're making people's jobs easier, faster, and they can get things done and go home and have a life. And that's what I think they're all looking for. And I would call that life the pickleball life. And I, I like know it. it sounds, I know it sounds like I, I know I'm being silly, but, but sincerely, I like to hear about a company philosophy that says we're going to make the lives of the users of our software better not just more productive. Yep. <laughs> well, you know, we can, I can make people more productive with a big stick. Oh yeah. You know, but, but when it comes to balancing work and life, mm -hmm. um, it's critically important. And that's something that I think has been very interesting hearing the conversations here. Um, this idea of workplace productivity isn't just about squeezing more no. blood out of every rock. No, it's about giving people the time they need to be them. Yeah, well, Cicero, thank you so much thank for you. being here. Thank you, I appreciate here. it. It's been a, it's been it's been a pleasure, and again, I, I I've got to give a shout out to the to the to the smart sheet, sure. And you and you, and you folks folks at home can't see he has actually matching shoes on, which is um, I I'm a, I'm a fan of passion. <laughs> so Cicero, smart Thank sheet. You. Thanks again from Smart Sheet Engage in Seattle, lovely beautiful Seattle. I love the rain. Dave Nicholson here from Six Five Media on the road. Thank <laughs> you.